2021 Citroen ME First Drive, tiny, electric, and not quite a car. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Depending on your point of view, the 2021 Citroen ME is either a deeply pragmatic take on personal mobility or an idea for a car that should be thrown into the sixth circle of hell. Whatever your take, this much is clear, the ME is one of the quirkiest vehicles ever from an automaker whose historical portfolio overflows with quirky vehicles. A quick aside about that term vehicle, even Citroen doesn't call the ME a car. The company describes the ME as an electric-powered light quadricycle. It's an accurate description. The ME weighs just 1,069 pounds and is powered by an 8-horsepower e-motor that drives the front wheels. It is not a modern interpretation of the snail-shaped 2CV, the brilliantly utilitarian, two-cylinder Citroen that put France back on wheels after World War II. But in many ways, the tiny ME takes a similarly elemental approach to automobility. It also takes a tiny approach. Measuring just 95.0 inches long and 55.0 inches wide, the ME is golf cart-esque. For Amos, running 2x2, two two, would take up a little more road space than a single Chevy Suburban. The very physicality of the ME makes its mission statement crystal clear, this is not a vehicle for the wide open spaces of Wyoming, but for the narrow and traffic-choked streets of European cities and towns. The Amy's top speed is 28 miles per hour. It sounds laughable, but in a city like central London, where traffic speeds struggle to average 7 miles per hour on a good day, and most roads are speed limited to 20 or 30 miles per hour, the Citroen's fast enough. More important, the instant on torque from the e-motor means the little Citroen has little trouble scooting away from the lights with the rest of the traffic. Because it's so light, it stops on a dime, helped by tiny disc brakes up front. The rear brakes are drums. A 5.5 kilowatt hour battery under the floor can be fully recharged in three hours from a household socket via a cable that pulls out from the passenger door jam. This pack gives the ME a range of 43 miles, which is more than enough for the slow urban journeys it's designed for. And, in truth, that's probably about as far as you'd want to drive the ME in a single step. The little electric drive motor whirs noisily, and the short wheelbase and narrow track mean the Citroen pitches and rocks over uneven road surfaces, though there's enough compliance in the suspension and Checkmate 155-65 R14 Baron Berlantis tires to take the edge off the impacts. At 3.9 turns lock to lock, the steering is geared for slower responses to reduce the likelihood of the 59.8-inch Ptolemy tipping over if cornered enthusiastically. The turning circle is just 23.6 feet. The ME is a two-seater, and unlike the Renault Twizy, a sportier 17-horsepower electric quadricycle from Citroen's rival with tandem-style dual seats like in a fighter jet, your passenger rides alongside. A cargo version without a passenger seat now exists, too, the driver is the only one who gets an adjustable seat, the passenger seat is set back in the cabin to allow room in the footwell for bags, and both seats are simply single-piece molded plastic items with padding on top. You settle in behind a car-sized steering wheel and twist a car-sized key. A tiny LCD screen mounted atop the steering column lights up to show speed, battery charge level, and remaining range. There's an old school e brake between the seats, and the DNR drive selector is in a pot on the left side of the seat base. Another pot extending to the right of the steering wheel has just three buttons, window demist, fan, and hazard lights, and a USB port for your phone, which can be secured in a clamp on top of the pod so you can use its nav and other functions. Because the ME is basically a box on wheels, it's a relatively long way from the steering wheel to the base of the windshield. The cabin is light and airy, courtesy of the large windows and standard fixed glass roof panel. Fully 50% of the car's surface area above the belt line is glazed. The top of the dash has indents that can be filled with various configurable storage hardware, including a cup holder. There also is a cup holder just behind the instrument screen, and a large hook on the dash in front of the passenger seat from which a purse can be safely hung. Plenty of storage room is carved out of the door panels, not the least because the side windows don't slide up and down. Rather, as in the original 2CV, the bottom half of the side glass simply hinges upward and can be secured open if you want cooling air. There are no door handles, either, you open and close the doors using nylon straps, just like in a Porsche 911 GT3 RS Citroen's PR person deadpan. Yes, just like in that fire-breathing, track-destroying sports car.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.